So, three dimensional problem, miscellaneous questions. Parangha. So, third question find the angle between the lines whose direction ratios are A, B, and C, and B minus C, C minus C, and A minus C. Okay, so if we find the angle, find the angle. So, if so, we angle, we find the angle. So, if we find the angle, we find the angle. So, if we find the angle, we find the angle. So, if we find the angle, we find the angle. So, if we find the angle, we find the angle. So, if we find the angle, we find the angle. B minus C, C minus C, and A minus C. So let L1 and L2 be the two lines. So B, two lines whose direction ratios. So question la kutra karde. So whose direction ratios are so A comma B comma C and B minus C comma C minus A comma A minus C. Okay. So if a farm line and okay, cos theta is equal to A1 into A2 plus B1 into B2 plus C1 into C2 divided by root of A1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square. Okay. So, if you look a1 under the another, a1. So, a1, b1, c1. So, next a2, b2, c2. Okay. So, substitute one by one. a1 into a2. So, a1 into a2, a2 into a into b minus c. So, A into B minus C plus B1 into B2. So, B into C minus A plus C1 into C2. So, C into A minus B. So, divided by so root of A1 plus B1 plus C1. So, A square plus B square plus C square. So, divided by root of A2 plus B2 plus C2 square. Now, we B minus C, the whole square, plus C minus A, the whole square, plus A minus B, the whole square. Okay. So, if we multiply the numerator, multiply the answer. So, 1 by 1 multiply the A, B, minus AC plus BC minus BA add to CA minus CB. Okay. So divided by the same value. Another is a reason I'm sorry. Divided by denominator the same value. If I do A B add to minus B A cancel. A C cancel. B C cancel. Our total value another. 0 by anything is equal to 0. Now, what do you Cos theta is equal to 0. Now, cos theta is equal to 0. So, theta is the to 0. Cos is equal 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 is equal to 5 by 2. So, the answer. Okay, so two lines put through Gangpa, one x minus one by minus three, y minus two by two k, and z minus three by k. One more equation, x minus one by three k, y minus one by one, and z minus six equal to minus five. So first step, we are going to find the direction ratios. Find the direction ratios. Find the formula. So direction ratios of two given lines. So direction ratios of two given lines. So direction ratios of two given lines. Two given lines or so in an hour burger first denominator because of the direction ratios so minus three comma two k comma two and three k comma one comma minus five so pizza will get another a one b one c one a2, B2, C2. So, formula is perpendicular formula. A1 into A2 
plus b1 into b2 plus c1 into c2 equal to 0. Okay, so a1 into a2. a1 would value will get another minus 3 into a2 on the 3k plus b1 into b2. So 2k into b2 under the another 1 plus c1 into c2. So 2 into minus 5. So if we simply one minus 9k plus 2k. So minus 10 equal to 0. Okay. So, minus 7k is equal to minus 10 right side of the plus 10. So, k is equal to minus 10 by 7. So, the answer. Okay. So, for to find the equation of a line parallel to x axis and passing through the r in the principal. So, equation of a line. Parallel to x axis. So on x axis. So this is parallel. So this is parallel. Passing through the origin. So origin will pass on. Okay. So for example. If you have this is x. So x. So this is y. So this is z. So parallel to x axis. X is parallel. Okay. But there is another condition that is passing through origin. So, origin is not going to be passing through the origin. So, we can see that this line is going to be passing through the parallel to x-axis. Passing through the origin is going to be passing through the origin. So, this line is going to be passing through the origin. So, we have a general equation of the line. So, general equation of line is x minus x1 by a, y minus y1 by b, z minus z1 by c. Okay. So, this is the pass as a passing through r. Passing through r. So, r is the number of meaning of 0, 0, 0. So, x1. So y1, so z1. Okay. So if we find the direction ratios of x-axis. Okay. So in the other one, we will pass on. So find the equation of your line passing through the origin. So the direction ratios of x-axis, we will find out. Okay. So the direction ratios of x-axis, we will find out. So i vector, we will find out. J vector is 0, k vector is 0. We will find out the origin of the origin. So, passing through origin number 0, 0, 0. Next step, direction ratios of x-axis is 1, 0, 0. So, the equation of x-axis is 1. So, the equation of x-axis is 1. So, the equation of x-axis is 1. So, the i-cap is 1, j-cap and k-cap is 0. So, the x-axis is 1. So, the x-axis is 1. So, the x-axis is 0. The j-cap is 0. The k-cap is 0. So, what is the direction ratio? Direction ratio is equal to 1. So, what is the point? 0. The reason is parallel to x-axis. x-axis is parallel, passing through the origin. So, what is the point? 0. So, 1, 0, 0. Now, we substitute the equation. So, equation of line is equal to x minus x1 by a. So, this is x1, y1, z1. So, x minus x1 by a. A value is 1. Direction ratio. y minus y1, if we end up 0, then we end up 0. z minus z1, 0. So, we end up 0. So, we end up 0. x minus 0. x by 1, y by 0. Next, z by 0. So, this is the equation of like do that for you so listen so shortest distance between the lines so mother and equation put together more distance shortest distance between the lines d is equal to magnitude of a2 vector minus a1 vector so into b1 vector cross b2 vector so divided by Magnitude of B1 vector 
cross P2 vector. Okay, so now we have far vector is equal to A1 vector plus lambda into B1 vector. So A2 vector plus mu into B2 vector. Okay, so we have A1, so this is B1, so this is A2, so this is B2. So we one by one substitute. So first A2 vector minus A1 vector. So A2 vector minus 4i cap minus k cap minus a1 6 i cap plus 2 j cap plus 2 k cap so subtract one and our minus 4 minus 6 minus 10 i cap add to minus k cap okay j cap kade yadu so up direct minus 2 j cap on the room so minus k cap minus 2 cap so minus 3 k cap add to b1 vector cross b2 vector so find for it so B1 I cap, J cap, so K cap. So B1 and an arke, so 1 minus 2, so 2. Add it 0, oh sorry, 3 minus 2, minus 2. So simply put So I cap into minus 2 into minus 2, plus 4. Yeah, minus 1, so plus 4. Next to minus J cap into uh, minus 2, uh, next day, minus 6. Next day, plus k cap into, so in the column in the row, it's now, minus 2, in the minus 6, so the formula or minus 2, so plus 6. So, bands right now, 8 i cap, uh, minus into minus plus 8 j cap, so minus uh, plus 4 k cap. Okay, so now we have magnitude. So magnitude and our own. So magnitude of B1 vector cross B2 vector equal to so root of 8 square plus 8 square plus 4 square. So equal to 64 plus 64 plus 16. So 128. So, 134, 144. So, root 44 value 1. Okay. So, but distance equal to now the root D is equal to A2 vector minus A1. So, minus 10 i cap, minus 2 j cap, minus 3 k cap into 8 i cap plus 8 j cap plus 4 k cap. So, divided by 12. So, if you multiply it, minus 10 into 8, minus 80, minus 2 into plus 8, minus 16, that is minus 3 into 4, minus 12. So, by 12. So, in answer, minus 96, minus 108. So, in total magnitude, that means modulus. So, if you have a value, you will get a plus side. So, 108 by 12 equal to 9. So, but d vector is equal to we'll get another 9 square units. See that. Please, I'm going to put it down to the top.